welcome to the You Are Here podcast. It's episode 94 of the podcast. My name's Mike and I'm here with Dave and I'm about to get into this. Get into it. Get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup. Why am I low? Why am I low and you're loud? Boost it. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube with the video, anchor.fm, www.youheardpodcast.co. We can now afford the end. <coughs> I was trying to... I was trying to swallow. Oh, dude, you're loud. I was trying to, sorry. You're loud. Sorry. I moved the mic. Ew. I was trying to swallow and I couldn't say the M. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey, how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing out there? How are huh? you doing? Hey, it's not, it's 1030. Why is the, oh, that's the new camera. No, it's the old one. Oh. What's wrong with you? Are you all right? All right, we're kind of, we're feeling weird. We, we just did an hour live, Instagram live. Thank you to everyone for showing up. It's kind of a wonky night. It's insane. It's a little weird. I got here two hours ago. <laughs> you did. It's fucking we chopped great. it up. We had an emotional roller coaster. And I, I want to share something with the, the podcast, something new. Go ahead. Something that I did. Go ahead. I pierced my nipples. Okay. I lied. I'm you kidding. didn't pierce your nipples. I didn't do it. Obviously, you didn't. So, yeah, I did. You did come up with the best <laughs> fucking... Uh, and this is... I'm going to say it and, and, and comment down below if you, if you think this is a good idea or not. Because I think it's actually... A, like, it might be, honestly, it might be the smoothest shit you've ever done. <laughs> If he did it, I swear to God. Okay, so Mikey, Mikey's on Bumble, right? We're, we've talked about it before. We got to go through this new match. I want to, I want to talk about her. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so we were going, we were talking on the live, and we, were, you know, a lot of people had a lot of opinions. And Mikey said, "You know what I would do? No, if we, a girl matches with me, and I get to message her something, I would start sending her furniture emojis, furniture like emojis, a chair, a sofa, a lamp, a table lamp, right, a table. So you're setting it up." Mm -hmm. And then she would say, and she's like, "What are you sending me? What is this? What the hell? Why would you send me that?" And you know what I say? What would you say? Say, "I'm moving in." <laughs> <laughs> that's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I haven't even tried that yet, but it's good, right? Dude, it's so fucking hey, smooth. Hey, I'm moving in. <laughs> that's the smoothest <laughs> shit. If I saw that, it's forward, but it's funny enough to be like cute. Yeah. And and yeah. like and like attractive in a <laughs> yeah, cute, yeah, attractive yeah. kind of way. I'm gonna try that, and I'm gonna. I'll let you know. That's gonna kill I'll let you. you. Know. I That's think gonna it will. kill. Did, so with the match you have now, I might find my next wife. Did Did you talk? So so can we okay, can we yeah. do this? Yeah, we'll bring this. I'll, I'll show you. So we're bringing Bumble up, Mikey. We got Bumble. Mikey told me he's got a new match. We got a new match, and um, <sighs> it's a COVID match. Um, so here's the thing: Did we're, she have COVID yet or no? I don't know. Did they they, they do that? Well, you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get COVID? <laughs> I don't care. No, she has the animals. I don't care. I'll still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a young, right, so for, for, hey, you're for a young, me, you're hey. a young guy. You're red blooded man. I'm a young guy. Yeah, I'm a young young you got, boy. You got I got red blood, dude. And it's and it's pulsing, and it's bro. Pumping <laughs> in all areas. It's pumping. Oh, I'm gonna move in, dude. God, you're moving in. I'm moving in. The guy's moving in. <laughs> But uh, here's what, me Fuck. with Bumble, man. So I still don't get it. I still don't understand dating apps. But maybe these new pickup lines are going to help. Yeah, I, I I think they will. But the thing is, so your boy gets matches. Yep. Your boy gets, you know, I'm out there. I get matches. Yep. But the thing is, when I get a match, I'm like, cool. But I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's just like you see, you see the match. Yes. There's like, no I, excitement. There's no like, oh. For a second. Yeah. I remember I was driving to work this morning, and this morning I got I got a match, and it showed up on my phone, a little notification. I was like, "Oh, cool," but then I was like, and then I looked at it. I'm like, ah, uh, I don't. I was like, I don't know. Is it because of the I look don't know, of the man. person, or was it something it's you the, saw? The whole thing. It's the whole thing. Okay. It's just a, a girl, and this that's just that. Okay. But Keep then, it real, though. Was I don't know. It, and it I wasn't know. just because of the way she looked. I don't think so. Okay. Let but me like, see. Let me see. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you in a second. But I don't know what it is. I just. I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. You don't want to go through the, mo the, yeah, the attempt? The, like it's going to take time. and I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay, and then nice. you know what I told myself? I was like, I was driving for five more minutes. I was like, Michael, what the fuck is wrong? Why are you so picky, dude? <laughs> like what is wrong with you? Dude, I, like, had I was a like, friend, what right do you have? I had to a be? friend who did that forever, dude. Would just be like, yeah. And I'm not naming names. I'll never shout him out. Okay. Dave's looking at it right now. I'm checking it. You can scroll up. You can scroll. <laughs> so I, I go up? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> yeah. I can see that? Yeah. Okay. No, we'll talk about it. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, dude. Should I be looking at it? 
Yeah, look at it. I don't care. Okay, she's she's so she's, she's, her name. I'm not gonna say her name. She's 23. Uh huh. Her her her. Okay, so her picture. You know the filters when you could you could put under your eyes like like Post Malone tattoos like like emojis. She put two cherries under her eyes, right? Uh-huh. And her tongue is out sideways. It's it's a cute little thing. <laughs> And she goes, hey, I'm super energetic and literally don't... Okay, this is a little dangerous. <laughs> literally don't shut up. Looking for someone to match my energy. She's got a ton of energy. It's the opposite of me, though. Yeah, you're... Well, maybe that's opposite to track. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, yes, my eyes are actually that blue. Okay, I don't Ooh. even see this. Okay, her eyes are super blue. Uh-huh. So that's plus, right? That's really cool. Open to sharing my Netflix account with someone. That's fucking clever. And I like actually that. really, like... She's facilitating a need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? I might just cancel mine. I'm saying. P.S. I'm into cars. That's You're cool. Kinda, That's cool. I yeah. like that. You fix your car. All it's time. different. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. And can probably sneak you into the gym. You now, I'm going to be honest. And you just said you wanted to go to the gym. Now, I'm going to be honest. Okay. It's the only reason I'm talking to her. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, she's 5'5", five, five, she says. She lifts sometimes. She works out sometimes. Drink socially. She never smokes. I think that's a plus. That's Dude, that's honestly, that's what I'm looking for. I partner. love that shit. She ain't down to do drugs. She wants to chill. She's a Leo, and she doesn't have a, She doesn't have any pets. You don't have pets. You have a, you have a bunny. Uh, I don't have it. She can eat one don't meal for the rest of her life. It would be anything with buffalo chicken. She's a Jersey girl. She is a Jersey girl. <laughs> okay, so we got, a, we got a Snapchat photo here. Uh-huh. Right? She got the cherries again under it's the cool. It's cool. It's cute. It's, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's close. Yeah. <laughs> That's the weirdest part that you did. <laughs> hey. hey, she's close. <laughs> okay. Could be down the road. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's very close. Within, now this was what caught 15 me miles. off guard, dude. Okay. She opens up with, hey, you're cute. So she sent that to you. Yeah. I thought this was reverse. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I love you. So can I read this? <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't so care. she says, hey, you're cute. <laughs> this is so cool. Mikey goes, "You're, da- I'm gonna do it in your <laughs> voice." <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> what? No, no, this is Mikey. Damn. Damn. You're forward. I like that you are too. Right. I like that you are too. Oh, okay. There's yeah. no period here, so I, I just read it. Well, we're cool and hip and young, all right? We don't use <laughs> punctuation, all right, Grandpa. Um, I- Okay, <laughs> and she said, Psh, "Gotta, gotta be, gotta be to get someone's attention." Oh, no! Oh. Right now, you send some furniture to her. <laughs> Yo, right it. now, send her furniture emojis right the fuck now, <laughs> and we're gonna test this. If she says, "What the fuck is that?" You hit her with the line, and we see right now on this podcast ninety four. She answered really quick, so this actually might happen, dude. This if this podcast. if this fucking happens. I'm right, and that's the slickest shit you've ever done. Bro, this will be the... all the furniture emojis? <laughs> Is there no furniture emojis? No, there has to be. Dude, that's so funny. Dude, if this works... Dude, I really think it's the slickest, one of the slickest moves out there. I'm, I'm not savvy with the game right now, but I think that's slick. <laughs> hit her with the lamp. If there's a lamp, hit her with the, the, the I love a, seat. I found a chair. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> He sent it. So, so Mikey sent a wooden chair, it looks like. Okay. What else have we got? Come on. <laughs> you just sent a chair. Here's a clock. <laughs> uh, we'll take a clock. You hang clocks. You, you move. I've ne- actually never seen a clock hung on a wall. Hey, dude. In 10 years, dude. <laughs> For real. Oh, no. This There's one behind work. us, actually. I have to find good. Bro, is there no bed? Is there no nothing? Bed, bed, bed. Name more things. Name more bed, things. Bed, uh, uh, couch, um, uh, fuck, uh, light, lamp, um. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Is there none? Is she, re- is she responding? Oh, fuck. Oh, this is crazy. Dude, this I is. Just, I ruined it. I wrote couch. <laughs> what do you mean you wrote, ca- you sent couch? There's no couch emoji. Wait, did you send the word couch? Dude, my phone's glitching out. Mike, did you send the word couch to her? Yeah. You just said the word couch? Mike, Jesus. I think I just fucked it up. <laughs> Bro! All right, I sent a bunch more. We're going to wait on it. Okay. <laughs> you just sent the word couch to her. 
<laughs> Mike's like, I don't know why this doesn't work. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting nervous, oh, dude. I'm getting God, nervous. This is going to be... Okay, so we'll check in a sec. Yeah. Bro, I want to say something real quick. <laughs> to, to the ride or dies at home that are listening to the podcast right now, I love you guys. Going through a really hard time in life right now, but I'm going to keep it real. I'm really excited when I see the spike in views yes. that we've gotten For over sure. the past week, two weeks, has been kind of... It's like... 120 percent increase on like yeah everything i don't, I don't know what happened planet. i don't know if we hit some algorithm some something dude i don't know but there's more but, subscriptions uh, and there's more views and we're really grateful My, me, me and mike you've been talking about it and um we're just really grateful to you guys for, for continuing to ride with us yeah thank you everything that's sharing maybe i don't know i said it that one time if you guys are listening you watch and you like it you know you're tuning in and you set, might be a guest one day who knows yeah yeah honestly a lot of the people we talk to have become guests. <laughs> they like, really honestly have. they have and if you're listening right now i love you if you haven't, send the podcast out. Send this episode out to someone. We're talking about some dumb shit today. And, you know, we're just some silly boys. We're some right? silly boys, some silly and, geese. And we get into some serious things sometimes. If you just want something during this pandemic, through life, just we like to talk about life. We like mm -hmm. to get into things and Film, just have a good acting. conversation. Yeah, we talk about everything. We everything. Just, we just like to get it. So if you're like, go like the podcast, subscribe on YouTube, do all that stuff. It YouTube, helps us YouTube out. YouTube helps us a lot. It motivates us. We feel good. <laughs> It's the only thing I'm hanging on to right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to talk about some real shit. Uh huh. If that's cool. Yeah. We don't have shit prepared, so I want to. I want to like fill it. Yeah. I don't want to like. I don't want to cheat people out of a good episode. Do you want a quote to to transfer us into serious? Talk? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I was. I forgot what I was listening to. Oh, I'll get a quote for you too. You think? You think? Hey, you think you're the only one who could do that? Yes. Let me ask you a question. All right, ready? You just cut me off. All right, you're sure what? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, go, go, go. What is it? No, I'm just because I'm about I'm about to change the mood. You, you so go ahead. you better ask that question. No, 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 hit it, hit it. I was kidding. Go ahead. A man who hitches his dream to a star is the only way. Oh fuck. The a man who hitches his dream to a star. That's the only way he can go on to do great things. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. You wrote that? No. Okay, you got that. From I him. I was like I kind of wrote it into that. But. So it's about it's about a man. If if you make the choice to to do something great in life, the only way to do that is to hit your hit your hit yourself to a dream, like yeah. a, like a like a far off like like a hope. I'm, I'm working towards this thing. Yeah, I agree. And, or if you, at least if you have something that you're going towards, I feel like is a good foundation for mm -hmm. just a way to live. Yeah, right. I'm experiencing right. This is so fucking weird. You you just said that. Yeah, because I'm experiencing right now someone who I I really. I can't say I'm closer to in my life other than a few people, but like, it, it'd be nuts if I told you who it was, but I can't tell you who it is. But I've seen the sense of purpose, the thing that, the dream thing, mm. kind of dissolve for for this person. Really? And it's so heartbreaking because it, it's like this person is lost Yeah. In, in, in their situation right now. Like, the conversations we've had recently have been... It, it, this person is a shell of who they were to me and to everyone. And yeah. it's so recognizable, dude. It's weird when I think it's it's a mixture of, because in life, I, this is what I'm realizing too. I'm writing a script about uh, generational pain and how it gets passed on from generation to generation. So, like a wound has happened. This is how I perceive it. From the beginning of time, you know, uh, Let's take like a biblical story, like Adam and Eve. I'm not saying that's the way it was. I'm just saying I'm taking this as a story. Mm. You know, like Adam ate the apple, right? And Eve yeah. was like, you know, try it. And the snake lied to them both, and mm -hmm. it caused this pain where we got kicked out of the Garden of Eden, right? Yeah. Whatever, if you believe that. I believe that like we've a father or a mother has hurt a child in a way that they're either unknowingly doing it or they've done it purposefully. And it's been passed down from generation to generation in different ways. So let's say uh, uh, um, someone has a child, the father has a child, and they physically abuse their child 200 years ago, right? Now that child has children. Yeah. And that that person who who's, has the children doesn't abuse them physically, but instead like neglects their children. Yeah. Because they don't know how to be a positive influence in their life because they have their own vices coping with the pain they felt from their yeah, father. Transfers. Right. So that's how, the, that, how I have they handle it is neglect. Still abuse, but it's different. It's still a wound, a generational yeah. wound, but it's different. 
Now, these neglected children have children. And how they handle their children is they disappear. Yeah. So they don't raise their kids. Mm -hmm. So there's an absence of, of parenting. So that's abuse. That's a form of, of wound, right? You grow up with no parents and now you're, you're in the system and you have to, you go through a ton of shit. Mm -hmm. And you find ways to cope with your life in vices and addictions and whatever, how you treat people, you know? And then you pass that and it just keeps yeah. going. And we and none of us get away scot-free. None no. of us. No. Nope. Isn't that fucking crazy? And it's so pessimistic to feel to think that way. Because, but I think there's a way to slow it down or to, to hopefully stop it. And it comes with awareness, I think, of it. Because once you... As I grew up thinking like, that's such a good life, dude. Like, I don't have nothing to worry about. And times were tough, but like, I made it out and I'm good. Oh my God. Mm. I don't have no wounds. Like, yep. I'm okay. I made it. I made it. And you know me better than, well, better than a lot of people. You know I rage out. Yeah. You don't have these blackout moments. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I realize now where it comes from. That's not a normal thing. That's not a healthy thing. Yeah. I've, I have a therapist now to like work work with like making me aware of the things I went yeah. through and the things that I, I I struggle with now today that I don't even know I feel. Uh. They're covered in, in layers in, of concrete that I've made for myself. Yeah. Over years, that generational pain, I've just buried it under concrete yeah. and said, "I'm dude, I'm good." But that shit comes out. Yeah. When you're when you're vulnerable, in that shit comes out. Where it's being like, there's always a, something that like touches that yeah and I'm, yeah. I'm i won't be a good husband i won't be a good friend i won't be a good father yeah if i don't figure that thing out and expose it and forgive it yeah if i don't forgive that wound and the person who gave it to me yeah i'm gonna continue it yeah fuck you're gonna oh, that's actually crazy man because if you think about all the because that's a big thing especially with like previous generations like you know our parents and their parents like it was never a thing to figure that problem out. Nope. You know? And that's why, like, you know, they look at their children and they're like, what the fuck? Or they, they, don't, understand, they don't understand everything. Um, and eventually, I guess when you get older, you get past that stuff. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's why you hear sometimes when people are on their fucking deathbed, you know, mm -hmm. it all fucking comes out and mm -hmm. shit like that. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I mean, we all have a choice now to basically, I guess guide that future right yeah for our children that's weird though man my, my brother i remember talking to my brother about this a long time ago i don't know how old we were man but this was when we were kind of learning i think every kid goes through this they kind of learn about their family uh -huh. both sides yeah. and if there are any problems and stuff yeah. like that and you hear the little rumors and then yeah. you finally ask like an aunt or an uncle or yeah. something like that and i remember my brother telling me he's like he's like we're the ones that gotta like change the like because I'm going to be honest, our family isn't like um, the hugest family. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that we keep really close are, you know, are really important to us. And, you know, we never leave people there. But there's been a lot of like negativity and stuff uh, on both sides of my family. And it's like my brother's like, we have to be the ones to change like everything. That's really cool. It is. I guess I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You know? That was on the forefront like, of his mind. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, we got to be like... Because our parents kind of took that first step of being like, we're going to provide for, like, we're going to figure this shit out yeah. and give the best possible lives yeah. to our kids yeah. so they can do what they want to do yeah. and make their best possible lives too. Right. I think it's the right way, man. 100%. I think so too. I think every generation chips away. You got to realize that it, like, it's not just that. Oh man. And I can just like go back. I really have to thank my, uh, my great grandma that passed away and she took care of me my whole life until she died. Yeah. Like- that all stemmed from her. That care mm -hmm. and that love mm -hmm. transferred to my, my mom. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure like that's the reason why, where the switch went. Because uh -huh. before all that, there was like problems. No love, sure. right? It was yeah, it was not a lot, much care. A lot less, man. Yeah. And I think that's where it switched. So I have everything to thank for, I think, her. Yeah. And my um, my father's dad. Yeah. On that side. It's weird, man, how that connects. It's it's so weird. Yeah. Does your Does your mother have a nickname for you? Um, it's usually Polish. What is it? Um, Michal. She calls me, uh, like, bear in Polish. Oh, that's awesome. Because it's like, because uh, Michael in Polish is Michal. Michal. And, uh, Michal. uh, what's it called? A bear is, uh, Misha or, I Misha? think Misha, special, uh -huh. correct me, of course. But, uh, Mishek or, just, it's like a cute kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She calls it I bear. like that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Like your little cub. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a little cut, bro. I my mom my mom yeah. has one to me too. Yeah. It, I don't know what it is. She called she called me freepy. Freepy. And there's What's no that? definition for that. <laughs> what? I don't know what it freepy? is. Yeah. And she would say, I love you like lightning. I remember my mom would always say. Whoa. And that was like the coolest thing for me, Damn. dude. I love you like lightning. Wow. That's the shit. I don't know. Only my mom's ever, I've, I've ever only heard that from my mom. But does that, wait, but does that mean like quick? Like, like quick and like really loud? Okay. I like and like that. in a flash and then I'm gone? No. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? I don't know. Once every like month. Uh, That's cool though. I got a quote for to you. To hear that. I got a quote for you. Maybe this will change the, con- like, maybe this will steer the combo here. Any any updates on? I think I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, I wrote, I spelled out couch, dude. You spelled out and sent couch. Yeah. Okay. Because well, we'll I, I was searching for the through the emojis, I was writing yeah. couch, and then I just searched just and it just sent it. Fuck. It's all right, dude. I'll try it another time. Yeah, it's okay. I'll have an update. I'll definitely have an update. Yeah, yeah. By next podcast. Okay, that's fine. She's gonna she's gonna send something. I if I I have a feeling in my gut. She's gonna be like, I'm good at that. I'm done here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god, I saw two forty two and I thought it was two forty two AM. <laughs> but it's a screenshot from earlier. Um, okay. So I watched a film recently. Mm. It's embarrassing, but I really, I like it. It's a good film. I really liked it when I was when I saw it at first. Wally? No, not Wally. Wally's Wally's a good movie. Good movie. Wally's not bad if I'm keeping it real. <laughs> um, Disney really don't miss. It's very rare. Yeah. They it's Disney, right? Pixar, Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, so I was watching this movie when I watched it. When I was, I think it held significance because I was. It was around the time where I wanted to act, where I learned I wanted to act, and so I became interested in filmmaking and film, and watching it like crazy and acting. Fell in love with like Elizabeth Olsen. I thought she was the shit. Mm. Um, went to the same school as her. In the city, and she did this film called Liberal Arts, right? Mm. In 2012 with Josh Radner. And I checked it out again. It was on, and I just watched it. And it had this monologue by this, I forget the actor's name, but he's the fucking shit. Um, and it, he said, Since I was 19, I have never felt not 19. He said, But I shave my face and I look in the mirror, and I'm forced to say, This is not a 19 year old staring back at me. Teaching her, teaching here all these years, he was a teacher. Teaching here all these years, I've I've had to be very clear with myself that even when I'm surrounded by 19 year olds and I may have felt 19, I'm not 19 any, anymore. You follow me? Nobody feels like an adult. It's the world's dirty secret. Because he's a teacher, he's a professor, and he's retiring. Yeah. He's being kind of forced out of the school because um, he's tenured and, and they want to like let him go easy. So they're kind of forcing him to leave. And he's he's struggling with coming to terms with his age, and and these boundaries he's put up where he's never felt nineteen, and he's surrounded by nineteen year olds, and he's he feels just as young as them, but he can't he can't party with them, he can't talk to them in that kind of way, he can't hang out with them, he can't date yeah. them. It's just it's you can't do that in life. Um, and then the idea of like you're never as old as you actually you never feel as old as you actually are. Like he always felt like he was nineteen. Yeah. And that's, it's just crazy to, to, to say that out loud. I felt that way too. I don't, I, I look in the mirror, I'm 30. I'm like, I'm fucking, yeah. I feel 20. Yeah. I don't feel 30, but 10 years have passed and I am 30 actually. So imagine when I'm 40 or 50, I'm sure I'm still going to feel 20, you know? And that's one of the, the world's dirty secret, dude. Yeah. Everyone, everyone probably feels that way. I don't know. It made me think <laughs> like, like. I feel like that's that'd be a nice question to ask like older people. How, how old do you feel? You know, and just have a video of like asking. That'd be a great idea. Right? Yeah, I think so. That's a great idea. How old do you feel? How old do you feel? I feel that, man. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I feel like I haven't I don't know. I'm just an enigma at this point. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I'm just like it's all melding together. Yeah. You don't know how old you would feel, right? You feel like, I don't know. I have no idea. You feel right your now. age? I don't know. Okay. I really don't. Yeah. Because I felt like I felt like I was 21. Yeah. You know, just fresh out of there. Uh-huh. Out of school. You know? Yeah. I'm yeah. Fresh out of college. I'm chilling. Yeah. And When uh, I look at you, I feel that way sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But now I feel like there's like a switch where I'm having more like responsible. I find myself doing jobs where I'm like, you know, I'm not, you know, serving dishes. Uh-huh. I'm like managing money yeah <laughs> a yeah. lot of money yeah, yeah so yeah. i'm like all right maybe you know <laughs> i don't know 
Stop bragging, bro. Yeah. Hey, can I hold it's some not, of that money? It, trust me. Can I hold it? It's not my money. Okay. <laughs> so can we take a couple we know. Of dollars? Maybe. No, I'm not gonna say. It. Okay. All right. You know what's a weird thing though? What? I had a weird talk with my dad. Oh. And I'd even he came to me, which usually never happens. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> well, what he say? And uh, I don't want to say everything. Yeah, don't say everything. There's some confidential. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But he just like they they were gonna go on a on vacation, and um, they usually tell me like the rundown of they they whenever they go, I know what to do. I have to feed like the rabbit, mm-hmm. do my normal mm-hmm. chore shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, just make sure the house is good. <laughs> yeah, you know? throw a party or something, but clean up. But clean up. Um, They're cool with that. They don't mind that. I don't know, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sorry, mom and dad. But basically, they my dad sat down. In my bed and like he just wasn't talking whoa wait wait a, wait a second wait a second yeah so you're in let me set the stage you're in your room yeah i can't even I'm imagine watching like this. a video so you're on your laptop i'm on my computer just like looking and i hear him walk in and he walks and sits on your bed yeah okay and he's like hey no, he's just like walking around he's like, hey, and it's up? dark as fuck because it's your room no it was the day oh, okay 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 the morning <laughs> don't say it's my little and the den, curtains dude. are drawn so it's dark as fuck so you're so you're in your den <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my underwear yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just chilling there yeah and i'm like yo what's up dad and, and you're like, closing tabs like, like crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 i'm putting the sound down uh you know turning off my monitor oh god bringing up the sports <laughs> taking a book out oh <laughs> oh, putting God. that bottle of lotion right in <laughs> under the bed <laughs> right um so he, he walks in he says hey son what's up and i said hey dad how's it going <laughs> and uh he just starts pacing around my room then he sits down on my bed and i'm like oh this is weird and like yeah i look at him like what's up and he just doesn't talk for like five seconds, which he never does. Mm. And then he just starts giving. Are you me the, scared at this point? I'm kind of like, uh oh, like what's yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, he's like, uh, so, yeah, so, you know, we're going for a little bit, um, uh huh, and, you know, if anything happens, there's this, 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 and uh, yeah, if any problems, just you know, that's there, and I'm like. Where are you going? I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, what's gonna happen? Yo, <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, nothing. Just like, just in case. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yo, your parents might be bank <laughs> robbers or something, dude. On the side. Yeah, I was like, wait, why do you guys go over there all the time? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it was just like a safety. Yeah, problem. if anything happens, yeah. Like... It was weird though, but like, when it's, it's just like a safety thing. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's, if anything, you know. A lot of you know problems happening in the world, you know. So we got the we got the number to the safe. You know, is what you're saying right now? Recently, do we have the number to the safe? Yeah, like if doomsday comes, <laughs> yo, we just might be. We made we it. We might have the bank. You are your podcast. We finally did it. <laughs> we we got to make s- some money from yeah. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> your your parents are secret agents. Your parents maybe, or they were just like you know Biden won. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh my God. He's worried about the worst case scenario, dude. He's he's like straight up like there's going to be it's like it's over. It's Trumpers over. coming out of the woods with like camo, bro. Trying to raid houses and shit. Whoa. It's so fun. Oh, fuck. But yeah, that was cool. That's a cool thing. Yeah. 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 It's weird when your father, it's so just, it's like when my father wants to say like a serious yeah. thing to me. Everything in the world, let's like the world stops yes, rotating. Yes, yes. For me, it's like I, 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 a cold sweat breaks on my forehead, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, he's about to hit me with some fucking shit. It, just my father. I'm ready to him just be like, yeah. we gotta trip the mecca, trip the mecca, <laughs> pack the bags, pack the bags, pick them up. I don't know why it's with my dad. We got, we got to turn Muslim. We're going. Yeah, All right, we're going trip to mecca. Um. He, my father recently was like, like we're going, to go, we're going through some some hard hardships for sure right now. Um, a lot of people are, yeah. but our family is too. And um, and I'm 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 I was feeling emotional. I was telling you this already, but I was feeling mm-hmm. emotional. And uh, I was talking to my mother on the phone. My father called me, and for some re- I I swear to you when I when I when I switched the call, I was like I was already kind of anticipating it wasn't going to be a great talk, 
talk, but um, I'm on the phone with my mom. I was like, no, mom, fine. Like, I feel fine. Honestly, I don't feel weird. And that's the thing that scares me because I'm like, I felt fine. I felt genuinely like everything's okay. And then I heard my father's voice and he specifically asked me like, how are you? Are you okay? And I fucking lost it. Like yeah. I, I just started crying and yeah. crying and I was trying to like breathe and I couldn't breathe and I, I didn't want him to hear me cry. And so I was like trying to muffle it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. you know what I mean? When you're like, yeah, yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah trying to like, <laughs> and he went quiet and it was awkward yeah. and I felt weird about it, but yeah, it's just weird when something specific about your father asking you that kind of question, like, are you okay? Sincerely. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's this, you can say the same thing to me oh, man. when I'm like at work and I'm, you know, fixing a light or something. He's yeah. like, Hey, how's it going? Yeah. How, how are you? Yeah. And I'm like, good. Because you're, it's like, yeah, a, it's, the normal. it's like a check in like, you good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Cool. I love you. Love you too. Yeah. But the one he looks at you and he's like, you good? How are you actually? How are you doing? Whoa. Yeah. It's weird when it comes from dad. Yeah. It's weird. There's the scene for it felt like the scene from um you seen Goodwill Hunting? Yes. The Oof. scene when he's when Robin Robin Williams is like talking about Damon and, and it's like their last meetup. Yeah. And he says to him, It's not your the fault. Last session. Yeah. It's like when a man does that to you that you that you kind of look up to and admire and and it has like a fatherly role in your life and like actually looks at you and sees you and, and asks you that or tells you that, that kind of thing. It like br- it broke me just like that. It, it felt exactly like that. The intensity of it was like just a wave of emotion. And I, and I said before, I didn't feel anything. I felt like I was fine. So it, that's what scared me was like a, a, a tidal wave of emotion came out of me. And I was fine two seconds before. Mm. I felt I felt fine. Yeah. But imagine like every day if I wake up and I'm like, I'm fine. I feel I feel genuinely yeah. fine. That means I'm not actually fine. If all that emotion, yeah, he hit a target on me somewhere. Yep. And as soon as that target was hit, everything came out of me that I was, that I must have been feeling. Yeah. Had to be of that, that it could be from, yes, yeah, someone, something that he says or just that person. If you didn't like, if I think whatever's happening and you finally get to sit down and have a word, uh huh. that's what opens it up. I think it's, the, it's got to be a combination of things like that. Yeah. Like it's that person, it's that circumstance where we find ourselves in, it's yeah. the words he said to me. And it's, it's, it's like, like the years it's, we're taught. Yeah. This is great because it's, it's what we're taught not to do. Yeah, we're taught not to cry as like men on the on the yeah. whole. I think I was taught that. Yeah, yeah, me too. You know, or you or you look up to people who don't do it. You yeah. look up to your father. And say, I never. I saw my father cry once, and it's like a badge of honor. Yeah, my dad's a tough dude. It's only cried at a funeral one time. I've ever seen it, mm. or at his wedding once. Yeah, that's my pop. You know, yeah. man, killing it. Yeah, but the, and then I'm just like, I will never fucking cry. I pick it up, and or I was yelled at and told not to cry, whatever. Um, so it was all those things happening at the same time, life in turmoil. Who said it to me? What he said? Where I am in life? And then all of that, all those layers just cracked open. He hit the target perfect, and I just fucking it erupted, bro. So I, I don't know myself like I think I do. Yeah, but I'm trying. Always to. changing. Always changing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Though that toxic masculinity, bro. Yeah. That goes hand in hand with, with generational pain. We're taught to like hold it in. Mm. If you're a man, don't don't talk about it. Get through it. Work through it. Keep your head down. Yeah. You know, be a man. You gotta be strong. Yeah. I think I mean, definitely things are getting to a point though where it's getting more open and everything. Yeah, but we didn't it's, get that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it goes back to what you said that, mm-hmm. you know, we got to be the ones to mm-hmm. teach that way. For sure. Now, I'm going to ask a controversial kind of thing. Mm. Now, do you think it's Uh-oh. okay to sometimes be that kind of like more, I don't know, I don't want to say masculine, but I don't know, that more like, this might be a little too controversial. <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, obviously, you know, there's... In bed, were you about to say, no. bro? What are you trying to no. say, dude? No. <laughs> Yo, there's a siren going up. No. Edit a no, siren no, no, in no, right no. now. Wow, <laughs> wow. This is the hot button topic section. <laughs> what are we talking about? No, I wanted to ask, like, as males. Yes. You know, Which we are biologically, yes. Yes. 
Like, I think it's okay to sometimes, um, you know, instinctually, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're leaders and stuff, right? Uh, yeah. To sometimes have to be the one to be like, we just got to fucking tough it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all here for each other, mm -hmm. but we got to fucking, I don't, I, I'm going to say it. <laughs> we got to be men right now. <laughs> Bro, you could say that. <laughs> I know. Okay. We're just be keeping it real. <laughs> it's gonna be so. And PC. we don't know shit. We're just talking about yeah. what we. What I we think sometimes you gotta be a man. Like I don't know. You gotta have your shit. That's part yeah. of being a man. Yeah. Is to be able to handle shit, man. Yeah, that goes into gender roles and shit, and how that's that's hot button topic now to talk about. But but uh, yeah, as a man, the way we grew up, I'll speak for myself because yeah. I, I feel like we grew up in similar ways. But I'll just speak for myself just in case. Um, th you have instincts. Yeah. There's instincts I have where like I need to solve the equation now. Yeah. If something's wrong, I need to. I, I can't sleep until I figure it out. Yeah. And that, I feel like that's a, a gender role kind of thing where I'm like the man of the of the situation has to solve the problem for everybody. Yeah. I do feel like at times where like there's a group of people who are looking for direction, a choice has to be made and. And yeah. sometimes I'll I'll feel that instinct where I'm like, okay, I gotta be the the man in this situation. Yeah, definitely. Dude, I, think, I think sometimes, man, it's like you can't just be like, I, this is what comes in my head. I'm like, we're all like, there's a fucking a piano fell on someone, <laughs> and we're in the middle of New York, <laughs> and everyone's like, um, they, people are like have a phone. They're like, don't touch me. I yeah, don't know what to do. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh here? my god, you know, like wait for a paramedic. We yeah. gotta get him in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but I'm like. Flip the fucking thing, <laughs> throw it over there. We pick this guy up, bring him to the hospital. You know, yeah, yeah, fuck it, yeah, let's go. Yeah. But but yeah, we're we're talking about. I, this is why it's a hot button topic because like women do that too. Yeah, for sure. Trans people do that too. Everyone does that. Everyone. But but I think what what we're taught is, as a man, you handle shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it is. That's what we were taught. Now is that right? I don't fucking know. Yeah. I don't know. I think it serves us in situations. Yeah. But other situations, I want to fucking cry. Yeah. I want to like I want to have that balance, man. I want to I I, fr I froze. I don't I don't know what to do. Yeah. I I don't know how to handle the situation. I get emotional because I don't know how to handle the situation. Yeah. Um But yeah, man, there, there's 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 things I feel like with protection of people I love yeah. that I'm like it feels very much like a um uh like a a manly yeah. quality. Uh -huh. Like a like a testosterone fucking driven. Yeah. I'll piss on your ankle. This is my fucking spot. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think. I think why what I'm trying to get at is like I guess when I look at like younger generations and stuff, uh -huh. and I see how like men are, you know, like I I don't know why I think it's natural to like be like this is where I was at that time in my life. And uh -huh. This is where you were here, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I'm like, there's like a shift. There's like a different. It's very different. You yeah. know, yeah. it feels like it's so different. And I feel like people are. Less like, I don't know, like, uh, less ambitious and like, I don't know. You think so? I don't know. There's some, like something. I don't, yeah. I feel I, like every kid I see wants to be a YouTube star now. Yeah. Like or a like TikTok a TikTok dancer, TikTok dancer, and, dancer or a Twitch streaming star yeah. or I feel like the dreams are bigger now. Yeah. And everyone has them. Mm. Maybe that is a good thing. I feel like in my group I'm, of I friends I just talked up, about a quote that said fucking Latchel star, dude. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, th yeah. I see that more. I think it's. More superficial shit. Yeah. Which I think on most dreams start. Usually a lot of people who have not want a lot. Yeah. So that's where that comes from. Like the chip on the shoulder deal. Mm. I think that's where, that's where my dreams kind of began was like, I'm going to get my mom fucking huge house yeah. and a box of puppies, dude. And we're going to yeah. live in Malibu, <laughs> you know, for real. Yeah. And then you find the thing you want, you you go after and you realize, obviously that's insane. But that's yeah. the thing that got me to the dance, you know, yeah. was the chip. Um, and it's unhealthy. But, uh. Yeah, I, th I think I think I see more of it in the youth now and younger people now, um, because there's more opportunity for it. Like anyone could anyone could get famous in a in a video now. Yeah. And it, I don't understand TikTok. I don't get it. I don't get it, dude. TikTok is weird, bro. Can we pull up TikTok and just look at a few? I'm I don't really, know how it. I really works. don't want to, man. <laughs> I really don't want. Maybe we'll do it next podcast. Dude, Lena loves it. Really? She fucking Bro, You know what I'm very not it. okay with? Maybe, but like, this is the thing. Like, you're saying, Lena, like, what is the... Because I know a lot of people that watch TikTok that Bro. are like our age. A hundred percent. Right? Yes. But dude, a lot of people that make TikToks, kids, like... Very young. 12 to 
17. Yeah. And hey, girls are dancing, and it's not good. <laughs> it's bad, Because I bro. feel weird. You I don't shouldn't like, be I don't there. go on there. Don't go on there. I don't like it. You don't do but it. Like, but the thing is, like, let's say, like, talk about canceling all this shit. Like, you know, a lot of people get fucking, you know, they get the receipts and shit all about it, like Insta DMing and all this shit. Bro, you go into comments on oh, like no, no. TikTok, don't bro. Say that. Don't even say that. Bro, it's nasty. No. Like you can literally like, you can literally find millions of pedophiles. Okay. Like it's nuts. What I see with Lena's shit is it's like a wholesome TikTok. Like if you like certain things, you get a certain type of TikTok. Yes. So she's got this really yeah, wholesome yeah, yeah. thing going on. Yeah. And um, it's like do-it-yourself things and like, yeah, like yeah. really sweet That's older cool. women who That's run. Cool. But I feel like there's a side. There's a side. There's Different a dark sides. side of TikTok. So I've heard about that side of TikTok. I haven't seen it. Yeah. But um, Which I'm not saying like I, it's, all right, it's cool like that whatever they can dance and do their shit they do their thing but it's, i just feel weird that it's out there available for like older people to well, look at that's the thing you know bro. i don't like that shit cuz anyone could look it up yeah it's like a gold mine for pedophiles dude yeah and dude i mean there's a and a lot of dudes are looking at like even on instagram like yeah. you look at a fucking picture and you're like holy shit like this girl hot as hell and then like it's a fucking like 16 year old dude it's nuts it's crazy it's scary, man. <laughs> like, it's scary. It's sad, dude. It is, man. <laughs> dude, that's why I just like... There should... Is that's you, why I'm like, I'm just going to yeah. take a break for a year. Yeah, I don't... I Maybe don't, move out to like the Amish country. And my meet, shit is and so... meet a lady there. Bro, my shit is so... All I do is Instagram and Facebook. I don't really do Facebook. My shit is so structured on Instagram to be like people <laughs> yeah. I fuck with. Yeah. Um, film stuff poetry yeah and that's it yeah if i don't like something i can hide it i found out anything like this yes um, i don't want to see no more if there's someone like hey and it's like a fucking yeah cutesy like over the shoulder like like trying to show butt kind of shot yeah. i don't need that no and, and 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 then it's like a now that i got your attention by my tea here's a social injustice happening in the world and I'm like, all right, why don't you just post that? Why don't you post a caption of, of that? Here's my merch with my ass on it. I hate that stuff, man. Yeah. I don't hate but, it. And I another, dislike and, it. And another thing I want to connect, I I connect with like these like, child stars on TikTok is they fucking collab with like these celebrities. Yeah, I'm saying. That are like these I don't adult get women it, and they do this dances together. They're pussy popping, bro. The WAP thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> bro. Hey. Hey, if I if I ever, ever I catch, catch my little dude. sister, dude, one of my little sisters dude. fucking around with that thing, bro, is that not the, the most wild song you've ever heard in your life? When I heard it, I was like... That wop? Dude, it's catchy as fuck. Yeah. And little girls are just dancing to it. Yeah. It's, it's the fucking trend. And I just want to just get it's rid of it. It's the trend to hump the ground. I know, bro. Yeah. It's a scary world. Feel, if if you if you if you go down that rabbit hole, it's scary. I fucking feel weird world. now. So we're gonna watch something. Oh God! I don't know if you saw this before. What are we doing? Uh, I saw this before the uh, election <laughs> stuff. Okay, dude. This so every president has a spiritual advisor. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So religion shit like stuff. This lady Paula White. Paula White. We're just gonna watch the video. What was the headline? We're just gonna watch the video. Okay, we're, we're not gonna. Yeah, we don't even have to look at it. Oh, here it is. Here, it's gonna frame this. Oh God! Strike and 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 strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. That's a beat. Pretty fire. That's a beat, dude. Sure, dude. Wait a second. Victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. Edge, I hear a, a sound, sound of, of victory. victory. The Lord says it is oh, done. Oh, bro. The Lord <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out look, of the frame. Look at 
this guy. The Lord has uh, what are you done. doing? It's my car. Is done. He's just the carelessly Lord looking over a done. fucking printout. Here, victory, victory, She's victory, jamming. Victory in the quarters of heaven. In the quarters of heaven. Victory, 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 victory. What is victory, happening, <laughs> bro? Where angels are being released right now. Wait the a second. Wait, right wait, now. wait. Amanda, Aka, Aka. What is she saying? Aka, Aka. And what is this guy doing? He's lost. <laughs> He's just lost. Is he? Is he supposed to be there? <laughs> Yo, she's praying for Trump's victory, dude. Oh, that's what she's doing. This is like a, it's like a prayer. Oh God, it's like a prayer, bro. But it's not done. I hear. For angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right. Africa, <laughs> bro. I don't know. Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. Dude, this guy's got to be kidding. Is this a They're joke, bro? Here. They're coming here. Was he added afterward? Here. Is this, is this coming CGI? Coming this is green Africa, screen. <laughs> from South America, angelic forces, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement. Pika, hata, anda, ata, ora, bata, rata, anda, eke, eke, manda, rasata. For I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. Does this guy just I hear walk the around? Sound of Victory. In, in I hear the sound khaki of shorts. I hear the sound, sound of victory. victory. Come on, guys. I hear the sound of victory. Come on. I hear the, the sound, sound of victory. victory. I hear the sound of victory. You lost. You ever you ever have a, a kid on the playground who just said the same thing over and over? It was so fucking annoying. <laughs> when you were growing up, like a kid just kept singing the same song over and over. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> this is her. <laughs> Melania's yeah. heated, dude. Don't, she don't like that. Oh my god, she ain't too happy with this this Paula White. Yo, and supposedly she um she has history of being um because she's like a like a like a religious Christian, you know, like whatever, like a sermon. pastor, yeah, like a pastor type figure. But she has like um like counts against her for like heresy, which is like. like heresy? Heresy is her is it heresy? I don't yeah, know I guess what it it's is. heresy, which is kind of like like anti-religion oh like th those kinds of like offenses okay so it's like i don't know man i don't know what's going on she there. was saying an african religious chant in the middle of this thing yeah i guess just trying to appeal to the the black vote you know? whoa whoa um, <laughs> and this guy is just walking back and forth with a paper <laughs> yeah i don't know what hand, he's dude. doing and she didn't give a fuck nope i had i had this kid who was in Elementary school. I'll never forget. I'll never forget his fucking name or what he looked like. He was super pale, blonde hair. His name was Jimmy. Jimmy. And he was Eminem was big at the time, <laughs> and he just kept rapping the same Eminem like verse, just one verse, over and over and over and over and over. And it was like to the point where I was gonna fight. I was like seven years old, dude. And I was like insane with rage because he wouldn't stop doing the that same thing. That made me think of a fucking memory. Made me think of terrible memory. My brother, <laughs> he had this little voice recorder. <laughs> and dude, he recorded my voice saying something. Uh -huh. And he would play over and over and over and over. And dude, I literally was like crying. I was like, <laughs> stop it, dude. I hate Make it. Make it stop. I was fucking so angry. Did you ever have someone, like your brother would pick on you a lot? Yeah, kind of. But we both picked on each other. Yeah. What's one? What's one good Sebastian? Like, what? What was one that like hurt you bad? Hurt me bad. Not not. Maybe one that like it made you think. Oh my god, I'm really scared right now. Well, one that really fucked me up. Basically, me meaning I. <laughs> we always do this with Sebastian. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> meaning I couldn't take a shit on a toilet. Was, oh my! As a god. kid, when I was getting potty trained, he told me that the teeth, the toilet has teeth. <laughs> so um little Mikey didn't want to poop. So my parents stayed with me like a whole night. Literally all throughout the whole night until I went to the bathroom. On the toilet? Like yeah. they watched you? Yeah. Like they they're made like, you sit like, on the bathroom. We're not leaving until you use the toilet. Dude, that's traumatic. <laughs> Did that fuck you up? I don't I don't think so. You're able well, to go fine, everything's cause, fine. Because it was literally like it was going too long. They were like, We're not doing this anymore. Yeah. It's yeah, but that's scary. It's sad. I, 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 it was the same cousin for me <laughs> and he, he, he would, uh, he told me dragonflies shoot a fucking web through your skin 
What? You and it, it terrified. Every creative. time I saw a dragonfly, I was fucking like terrified. I was screaming, and run. <laughs> oh my god. And then one time he lo- he told me about Bloody Mary. Did you ever hear about this? Oh my god. Did you ever hear that story? Yeah. What he told me was we used to go to the rec center for summer camp. It was it was m- me and my cousins and a bunch of other kids, obviously, and they were older than me. But um, he would uh. There was this one bathroom, uh, and and I went to the bathroom, and he was already in the bathroom with his other friend, and he told me about the story about Bloody Mary while I was taking a piss, <laughs> and he's like, "What you do is you say Bloody Mary in the mirror three times, and when you do, she she comes to to visit you," and I was like, "Oh," and I'm fucking eight years old. I'm yeah. terrified, bro. I'm taking a piss. I'm like, "Okay, Joe," you know, I'm fucking scared, and. uh he, I hear him say it once, and I'm like, ha. And then his, him and his friend say it twice, and I'm like, oh my, and I'm still peeing. <laughs> and they run? And no, and then they say it a third time, shut the lights off, and then fucking run out the door and hold the door. Oh my God. <laughs> and I was fucking screaming like, oh my God, please open up the door. <laughs> I thought I was in the, stuck in a bathroom with Bloody Mary, and then finally they let me out. Because the counselor heard me screaming. And they're like, ha ha. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Kids are rough, bro. Yeah. Kids are rough. I got chased one time. This kid, Billy, fucking Billy, dude. I lived on a dead end. He lived like down the block from me. Mm-hmm. I, I used to hang with him. He was like yeah. kind of weird kid. And we would, we were, he was older than me, but we were hanging out. We were, we were hanging out one day. And these other two kids came down this fucking big hill, Cherry Hill, where he lived. The bottom of the hill. They pulled their bikes in. They were both his age. They were they were in middle school at the time. I was still in elementary school. And uh, I had my bike there. We were in the driveway. And all of a sudden, like, we were laughing. I remember we were just laughing about something all together. And I was the young kid, but I was trying to, like, fit in and be part of the conversation or whatever, I guess. And then all of a sudden, they, he, this big kid stopped what he was doing. And he looked at me and he goes, we should beat him up. And I remember being like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like Billy would never like Billy would never do that. Like, no, he would tell him no. And Billy was like, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Man? And and it's literally evil. all three of these guys like just started like creeping towards me. Like they were gonna beat me up. And I was like, guys, please, please don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. And I jumped on my bike and I just started fucking booking it. And they just followed me into my driveway at home. And thank God my uh my mother's fiance came outside. At the perfect time, bro, because I was going to get my fucking ass kicked. They're just kids. like, let's kill, let's yeah. beat them up. <laughs> yeah, dude, like it's it's boring <laughs> and it's Wednesday. Let's beat up this kid. <laughs> I narrowly escaped an ass whooping, bro. So close. So close to getting fucked up on. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been bad because we were kids, but Thank God. I was terrified, dude. I never went back to see Billy again, bro. Fuck Billy. Hey, Billy, if you're out there, fuck you, dude. <laughs> And I'll whoop your fucking ass now if I saw you, yeah. bro. Yeah, we're going to team up now, dude. I'd squash it with you for real. I'm going to look at you and say, let's beat him up. I'd want an apology from you. Let's beat him up. No, the other dude, I'd fuck up, whoever that big kid was. <laughs> yeah. And I'm bi- I'm definitely bigger than you now. 100%. What are we at now? What are we at? Uh, 53. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah. Let's end it with something special. Special? I say we get, did homegirl send you anything? Are we, are we really fuck up with the couch? <laughs> I can't believe you put couch. <laughs> she didn't say anything. Uh, okay, we fucked up. It's okay. I fucked up. There'll be more. There'll be more. I should have like found <sighs> the emojis first. It's okay. It's fine. Can we can we get into TikTok? Can we just look TikTok? at a couple? TikTok? Yeah. I think we need to like sign in and shit. All right. Uh, fuck it. Hold on. Here, go. Type it in. I'm scared, dude. I don't want to do this. Well, it's... We're not gonna like things that are weird. We want wholesome TikTok. I'm scared. There's people that have like brands now because, like this one, this one older woman. She's like a. She's not older. She's in her thirties. She's a runner. Okay, so shit like this, I don't get. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so we're looking. There, at, they look uh, underage. Oh, see, they look underage. Whoa, whoa, here we go. See. Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. What, what is that? Is? What is that? What are we looking at? Um, wait, what is that, dude? Can we show this? Do I have to... There's music in this, Blur too. this? What the <laughs> fuck? Bro, what is that? 
It looks like a so they're pouring baby something. Boy they're building a baby. All done. For you, pay, wait a second, bro. Trending love whip, reborn. Dave, I don't think we should be. Here. Okay, <laughs> Dave, I gotta be here alone tonight. Okay, let's let's keep <laughs> keep going. Okay, so we got a puppy here. Stop. Wait a minute, Bruno Mars. I don't want to get copyright, so yeah. Okay, so we don't have to. Oh, it's me and Khalifa. Um, oh my God, I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> See, the under uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much of that. Teacher writes insults on boys' homework, but has no idea. Cameron and his dad, Chris, moved to a small town in Texas and, after Cameron's uh, mom and, and then they just. Cameron was a super bright kid and always had straight A's. But only a few weeks into his grade two school year, Cameron began failing all of his classes. Okay. Every day, Cameron came home with worse and worse grades and his dad had no idea what to do. I mean, Cameron had always been the smartest kid in the room and only now he was failing all of his classes. Mm. It didn't make sense and his dad knew Dude, something wasn't right. A few more weeks passed and after oh, Halloween, the picture. things began to unravel. Cameron came home crying every single day and he wouldn't tell his dad why. So okay. one day his dad decided to search through his backpack and was horrified to find all of Cameron's homework covered in insults from his teacher saying Whoa. things like you're absolutely Whoa. pathetic and stupid. His dad was furious but little did the teacher know who he was and what he would do to her. Follow for part two. Oh, what the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> Follow for part two. That's how they get you, bro. Get out of here, son. All right. Uh, 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 yeah, it's all uh, it's happening. Uh, Dude, what is happening? How do you get there? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna watch it. Dude, get out, bro. She's a very responsible teacher. Nah, nope. <laughs> That's the caption. I, I gotta blur that, these, dude. dude. I can't watch that. No. All right, okay, a cat cool. with wasabi. Is that wasabi? No, it's broccoli. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm here for this. Bro, okay, can I show you something funny? Can I show you my favorite thing? Can I show you my favorite yeah, thing in the yeah, world? Yeah. All right. This would I was watching this by myself like a psycho laughing my <laughs> fucking at, like out loud laughing. <laughs> I'm really into like dry dry heaving. I don't like this dude at all. Do you like dry heaving? I don't people? like this at all. So some people have like if you hear someone say, <laughs> if you hear someone like, <laughs> bro, I don't like, dude, anything that's going on. So watch this. <laughs> Some people have like such a strong gag reflex. <laughs> What's happening? I'm going in right here. <laughs> She's grossing him out on purpose. <laughs> Some people get grossed out to the point where they they gag. <laughs> gonna kill himself, dude. Literally, this is my favorite thing. I need to meet someone who I could do this with. Do you have that? If someone goes, <laughs> do you get that like weird reflex? No. If you hear that, some people <laughs> no. hear the sound. Oh, it's so funny. Poor baby. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh. <laughs> you know what I can't. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. I, <laughs> I just finished recording. <laughs> Wait, what are you? On TikTok. And the only beer that we had. He's trying to talk. Was old Corona. <laughs> he got grossed out by the old Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That is... To me, the funniest shit on planet Earth. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to find someone who's got that kind of like. Uh, you got to look, bro. And just make them funny. Like, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got one more. One more. <laughs> no, no, not on, this bro. one. Not this one. Not this one. Oh, this is it. Okay, so this little kid is coming to give his mother a a a, a, pa a toilet paper roll. Uh huh. And she's she's pooping. <laughs> she's pretending to poop. Okay. All right. Paper, please. Look, he's such a sweet kid. He's bringing his mom's thing on the toilet. Isn't that sweet? And she put something on his hand. What is that? What is it? It's 
peanut butter, honey. <laughs> he looks so at it. It's fucking, bro. <laughs> it's so oh my bad. god. <laughs> so if you got a weird gag reflex, come yeah, on to your here podcast. Just, hit hit Dave up. We got to fucking. <laughs> I got to try that. That's so funny. Did you ever get so grossed out you did that? <laughs> you know what? I really don't like throwing up. I, so I think I, I'll do anything. I think I, I just throw. don't gag. You don't gag, right? No. Oh, I'm getting grossed out now. To be honest. I think, um, <laughs> I think, uh, like, I can't even tell you the last time I threw up. I think I had the flu was the last time I threw up, like, four years ago. But um, I'll eat crackers. I'll drink fucking mouthwash yeah. if I got it. I'll do weird Bro, shit. Bro, the worst feeling is when you know you got to throw it's up. It's the worst. And your mouth is just going like. Yeah, you it's know it, dude. And that cotton mouth, you're like, no. You know when it's the worst? When, when you're trying to speak and you can't. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, you can't. This Bro, the do. worst shit in the world. This will be our ending story. Okay. But I remember I was working at TGI Fridays, bro. <laughs> I had the night shift, bro. You always had that night shift. A couple shift. years ago, yeah. dude. And um, it, it's like a slow night, but slow night. And I was like the top whatever server. Yeah. So I was had like the biggest section. Yeah. And like. Quit bragging. <laughs> did my job. I mean, he's, he did a job. job. But um, basically, I. So everyone's all, all the other like sections started leaving, uh-huh. and they're like, "Oh, I'm like take care of it," you know. Yeah. And I remember there's only like three other workers. No, bro. And bro, I don't know what happened, dude. I actually figured out what it was, <sighs> what but was uh, it? dude, I remember I was like took one order and I went to go like get drinks or something. Mm-mm. Dude, I just feel something. Mm-mm. You know what you feel? The worst is when it's coming out of everywhere. You had and, this, dude, you had a, you had a virus. I feel I feel I start getting that feeling where I'm like. Oh no! Fuck. Were oh, you no. taking an order? Or and then you... I feel my my butthole. Oh man! I feel something, dude. Was it like shaking? Like uh oh, yes. uh oh, uh oh. I like, <laughs> like, like, like. Imagine just a stream. Fuck. And like, just something just shooting, bro. And Damn. then you feel it, and you're like, you're like, you you throw up the water <laughs> gate, bro. You and you're throw like, up the dam. Oh no! Fuck. And but the it's levee's gonna yeah, break. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and I t- I literally tell the, the the host, I'm like, look. I'm sick. Something's happening. I'm going to the bathroom, and I gotta go home because I oh felt it, dude. Oh my god! And you know what? You know what it was, bro. I fucked, dude. I went in that bathroom, and I just, I was shitting and throwing up. Oh really? Over and over, and Fuck. it just was not stopping, dude. That's the worst. And I had to drive home, bro. And dude, I fucking rushed home, and I was up all night just doing the same shit. That just the wasn't worst going. Shit. I was trying to drink water, just out. Dude, yeah. I didn't sleep. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. You know what it was? What? Be careful with aloe. A- oh, the drink. I had an aloe drink. And I, I remember that shit. I love aloe drink. Yeah. I love aloe. I know they're good. They're, they're really good. good. I used to drink them too. You get the little jellies in it? Yep. Never drank it again. Because that, that causes supposedly it? if you, if there's a cultivated aloe, the way they do it, there's little fucking like- Bacteria? Things in it. I don't know. It's these red seed things. Uh-uh. That- it's like the worst laxative ever. Oh. And I had I was at college, I remember, and I had work after, and I, they had like this new drink yeah. in the cafeteria. Yeah. I got them. I got aloe drink. Cool. Yeah, it's good for me. I'm drinking it. White grape. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. I remember that. That was good. Bro. It wasn't that tall, like, weird. Yes. Yeah. Bro, and but shit. It opened the floodgates. It just destroyed me. It was terrible. Bro, when I was in Rome, I you got- You probably s- would be gagging. 100%. You'd be gagging. Uh, when I was in Rome, I had, I had the- I got so fucked up the like the last night I was with my I was I was doing a play there and I had yeah. I, all my cast were like last night together, so we were got fucking trashed, dude, on mm. grappa. Grappa, have Damn. you ever had grappa? No, what it's is that? It's concentrated like like grape, to the point where it, it like it's like distilled, bro. Like it, yeah. it drips out so slow, it's just pure alcohol. Oh, I'm getting gross. I know. <laughs> and uh, we got so fucked up. All I remember is uh, Lena. And a couple of people were walking me back to the hotel. We were by the river that passes through in, in the middle of Rome. And I pissed on a tree in the middle of Rome, in the middle of the night. <laughs> I remember I was pissing on a tree. I was like, man, this city's beautiful. <laughs> and then I remember stumbling into our room where it was me and Lena. And I just started having that little fucking gag. Yeah. And I told her for some reason, fill up the bathtub. Because I was trying to make myself not throw up. So I was doing yeah. weird shit. Yeah. I was drinking mouth. I'm butt ass naked in in this hotel. 
drinking mouthwash, fucking <laughs> sitting in the back. I was crying. I was sitting in the bottom of the shower, like slumped over, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> trying not to throw up. Your boy was crying on, this is the most embarrassing, fully fucking, so imagine I'm gagging, crying, trying not to throw up, fully erect for no reason. <laughs> just, just full fledged. <laughs> just, I didn't just, expect that, dude. Just <laughs> as if it was like party time, dude. Yeah, just, just party time. <laughs> just fully fucking. And you're just trying to fucking like get it all out just so you can fuck. Dude, I. <laughs> <laughs> it was the grappa, bro. I don't. And it was why it went in Rome, dude. Grappa, I don't know what. Dude. My but I lost total con- like everything in my body was doing its own thing. The grappa, crying, throwing <laughs> up, boner. <laughs> How? Wow, bro, I don't know. What the fuck? That's the Italian. More than you. ever, like it was insane. <laughs> that's why that's yo that home remedy. That's why Italy's romantic as fuck, dude. That's why those guys. I don't know. That's yeah. why there's a lot of babies out there. They put something in the water in the in the grappa. <laughs> the grappa. I swear to God, I'm sorry. That's TMI, but. Bro, it's real. What's with like other countries having like weird like <laughs> dick uppers? Dude, I remember. Bro, I, I swear to you, and I'm not playing. I had to talk to Mike, this fucking. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was as if like it was like a pill, dude. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like insane. <laughs> I, dude, I don't know how to describe. It. I don't want to get gross. But Waiters are giving it like, yeah, man, you're gonna have a good night. Bro, I don't know what it was. I really don't know. I think it was something in the water or some shit. It could be. You got something. I bet you in Poland, you're like, yo, what's up? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, do you get that instinct when you're in Poland? You're like... Oh, like... After that? a couple of days, you're like, hey. I don't think I get that. Yeah, you do. Maybe the air <laughs> kind of hits me different. Yeah, I think... And I'm like, whoa. A bit more testosterone co- Maybe. coursing through. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what it There's is. There's opportunity. The, the, toma- the tomatoes are, are fresh. You know That's what I'm saying? Instinct, man. You're yeah. like that tribal instinct. You're like it's a, it's the motherland. Yeah, it's something yeah. about it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this land for mine. There was babies to be made, dude. That didn't. <laughs> that was not a thing happening. When, uh, yeah. Yeah. When you're throwing up, I'm throwing shit. up and crying, dude. <laughs> How attractive shit. is that? It's great. <laughs> You're like, whoa, dude. I don't and know, I thought I was fucking sexy. I don't know sexy, what's going bro. on. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Um, we were here podcast episode 94. Dude, I, there's this guy I have to deal with at, at work. And like, I remember I, I didn't see I him for guy. a long time. Yeah. And um, dude, he comes up to me one day. He, he's like, here, I got a gift for you. And dude, he gives me a jar of honey from like some... Middle Eastern country. It's nice, and it has no English on it. It's he's like he's like he's like this is the best honey in the world. <laughs> oh, that's the amazing. Best. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, really? Wow, like, well, that's Thank cool. You. Like, cool. Like, I love honey. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, yeah, man. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I took it one night. I'm telling you, I went to go <laughs> make love to my wife. Why is that a thing? And it. It works. You can go forever. Yo, everyone like, says some shit like, like that. I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> and I never touched it again. It's really good for and, this. And it was a used jar of honey. Ah. Uh, which I was like, maybe don't give a gift like that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't give that as a gift. He's like, I tried it. I need to get it out of my house. My yeah, wife won't let me keep it. Killing. You're young. Good. This is for you. Should I try it, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try it, dude. Know. If, yeah, responds. If if I'm moving in with those, that I hope she responds, bro. I think I fucked it up, but I'll try it again. I love that you did that, and I think it's really cool. But we'll. See. I think I gotta finesse it though. I gotta I gotta work yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in the stages, the early stages. Yeah, yeah. It was a test run. <sighs> hey guys. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> what time is it? Hey, about? thank you for the views, guys. Thank you for for paying attention to us. Thank you for, for being a part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go home and rest. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, you are here podcast. I'm so 94, man. Um, Spotify, YouTube. Hey, if you like the podcast, share it to your friends. Let people say, know. say, say with some enthusiasm right now. Hey guys, I, if you like the podcast, we put some work into. It. We love you guys, and we want to have the best podcast for our listeners. Yeah, all right. We care about you guys. We yeah. care about entertaining you guys. We care about helping you guys. I burped. Right? 
you burped and you just told me to be good. I'm sorry. But you know what? We're wild boys. We're a wild, wild bunch. And um, you know what? I love you guys. Yeah. Okay. And he means it. I, I can mean see it in your I eyes right now. I, I know. feel like I'm I'm a little lightheaded. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling a little gay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are here podcast episode ninety five. <laughs> you are here podcast that code. We can add for the M. Yo, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Either way, I don't know. I don't know about it. My name is Mike, and I'm signing out. My name is Dave, and I love y'all. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. <laughs>